Oh, wait a second. Okay. Let me get this. Let me backtrack. I'm not lying. No, I, I wouldn't no, troll you, Melanie. You know. Oh, no, no. The cap is too strong. We're going it's to not need some verification. Not What's his Instagram so we can pull up his picture? Watch this. I'm going to do this. How about. Or hold it up to the phone. Oh, oh, what I'll like do. Michael Ely. And he's I'm going to send. Four, I, I'm a DM you his picture. Don't show it to anybody. I'm going to DM it to you, though. Is you that fair? You DM it to me. Two seconds later. I'll I just sent it to you far. right now. You should have it. Okay. I got it right now. And tell the truth. I'm having a hard time believing this man can't find a woman. Because he's a good looking guy. I'm very confused. He looks better than Michael Ely, in my opinion. Guys, picture Michael Ely. If y'all don't know who Michael Ely is, just think of some, you know, the old light skinned, pretty eyed kind of guy, right? So, and he's 6'4. Yeah, I'm 6'2. He's like two inches taller than me. His whole family is paid. He, he's yeah. rich in New York City, has a house in the Hamptons, y'all. Okay. All real. No. All real. And he used to play basketball too. Yep, in Japan. Yeah. We gonna fight El Guapo. You don't know what you're doing. What's good, team? Salute and salutations. Welcome to Beautiful Eyes, where the price for admission is your like and subscription. I'm your not-so-humble host, El Guapo. And late May, early June of last year, I called into Melanie King's dating show. Now, I didn't call for myself. I was engaged at the time. I'm happily married now. I was actually calling in for a good buddy of mine, known him for 20 years. And this guy, this guy is literally the guy that every woman wants to be with. Yet and still, he has a hard time finding good quality women to have in his life. A, a singular good quality woman because he wants to settle down. So I called into Melanie King, see if she could hook him up. And I want you to see her actual reaction just to the thought of this guy. The thought that this guy could be real. Check it out. El Guapo, you are next. All right. Hello, El Guapo. Hey, Hello, Melanie King, how are you? Guys? <laughs> Everything good? Good, it is good. Awesome, awesome. So listen, I'm engaged, okay? So this I'll is not for you. me. Yeah, but wait, this is good. You're going to like this. Give me a second. Give me okay. 20 seconds of grace. Uh, my fiance and I were blessed to spend uh, Memorial Day weekend in the Hamptons, and it was with a good buddy of mine that I've known since college, and he was talking to us about how badly he wants to find a good woman. And he's probably going to cuss me out for doing this. So I'm going to put him out there. Uh -oh. Can I do that? I've known him 20 years. I could tell you everything about him. Uh-oh. All right, yeah. go put him out there. All right. What do you want to know? Wait, he's in the Hamptons. No, is he's this, in New Jersey. Is this in the Hamptons? Yeah, that's like, his house. And he's having a hard time finding a woman? A good one. Yeah. Is it like yeah. gold digger season? It's a combination of all those things, yeah. What is he wearing? So my fiance is Colombian, you know, okay. like from Colombia, and he sees, you know, what it's like having. A, it has nothing to do with color or race, just the the cultural mentality. And he was really he he had a heart to heart with us, like, man, I really want to find that. You is know, is so, he black? Ah, uh, yeah. So he's a he's a light skinned brother. He kind of looks like Michael Ely, about six four. Oh, I see. Okay. Let me get this. Let me backtrack. I'm not lying. No, I, I wouldn't no, tell you, Melanie. You no, know. Oh, no, no. The cap is too strong. We're going to need some verification. Not What's his Instagram so we can pull up his picture? Watch this. I'm going to do this. How about. Or hold it up to the phone. Oh, oh, what I'll like do. Michael Ely. And he's I'm going to DM the house you his picture. Don't show it to anybody. I'm going to DM it to you, though. Is you that fair? You DM it to me. I'm going to send it to you right Here, now. No, I'm going to put you in a private chat. Here, where are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. Who are all these people in the private chat? Never mind. They don't send in a private chat. Too many people in there. I'm going to verify that this guy. I wouldn't lie to you. Come on. We, okay. I mean, we do this together. Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, a lot of you guys wonder why. Where are the women calling in? Where are the women calling in? Let me promise you now, they will be calling in as they keep seeing eligible guys over here that are not, you know, you guys aren't all sorry, dust and ashes. Like, you know, some people want you to believe that you are. There's your quality men. 
I promise you, I get uh, so many women to hit me up and a lot of beautiful women. If you look at my comments and you see the people's little things on my Instagram, follow me if you haven't, Mel underscore DA underscore King, you'll see it. All right. So we're getting on my Instagram right now. I'm going to check it. I never check DM. So if you DM me, y'all, it is one in a million that I'll- I just sent it to you right now. You should have it. Okay. I got it right now. And tell the truth. I'm having a hard time believing this man can't find a woman. I'm dead up. I'm dead and up. And listen, I, I, I wouldn't. Find... No, okay. no, huh? no, no. We're going to get into something because usually somebody that fine, something else going on. Okay. Let's talk so about we're it. Into the buttermilk. Has he ever been married? No. What does he do actually for a living? So he gets to do what he loves. He actually is a teacher in New York City. Um, his He definitely comes from money. His family. Wait, he, he, no, I'm stop. I'm so serious. So he's a teacher. Yep. This man is like a. He's a teacher, but his family is wealthy. So like that philanthropic mm -hmm. lifestyle he's living by being a teacher. Yeah. yeah, those people exist in New York, guys. So, yeah, he teaches like uh un, at an all boys school, like underprivileged boys that have the opportunity to go. The the dude is he, solid, he man, has, and he's just he been has, done dirty. Been, are you sure he wants a woman? Absolutely. And he just hasn't come out. Stop it. Don't do that. No, no. I'm saying this. No, I, okay, I'm, well, I'm answering no. I'm saying this. He does not. <laughs> I'm not implying or anything like that. But I'm saying sometimes a man reach certain age and people are pressuring him. He's just not ready to. No. I'm just asking if there's been, if, if no. he has specifically. He, so he, ha he has, he has a daughter. If that helps. He's been engaged. Just never married. Now, why did they break up? She did him dirty. She, she, she stepped out on him. She was for the streets. For the streets, 110%. What? How old yeah. is the child? I'm sorry? How old is the child? Six. Girl, boy? Girl. Oh, you said a daughter. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Is she, how, how is their relationship, like the co-parenting? Is it a little, little it's, nuts? It's, it's a little tumultuous. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah. No, it, it, it happens. Yeah. Um, But he's managing it and... Like yeah. she's not going to feel no stress and craziness from from that from home. No, he'll he'll isolate and separate. How how often does he have a child? Um, I don't know for sure. I know at least every other week. I don't know for sure. Okay, so he teaches. His family is rich, but that don't mean he has money. I, yeah, they yeah. The, they give him money or he just go visit his parents in the Hamptons? No, the, it's it's family money. It's family money. He's in the estate? So uh, you're going to think I'm lying to you. He played professional basketball overseas. Okay, this is, this is you making him up. I'm not, uh, Melody, I'm not I doing know. that, I promise you. Send me his Instagram. Send me his actual Instagram. I ain't going to share nothing. Y'all, I had, I had, I'm not going to no, say. No, you going to track it, my, crack it, my friend? Hold on now. No, no. <laughs> I just want to see because right now he sounds too good to be true. And you know what's sad? There are a the lot movie? of men out here have like you that. Seen the movie American Psycho? He's, I've known him for 20 years. He's not crazy. That don't matter. If you're dealing okay. with a covert <laughs> narcissist, they can hide their whole life. I'm don't do him like that. And this is why, I'm this is why he's having problems is. now. But guys, guys. Picture Michael Ely. If y'all don't know who Michael Ely is, just think of some, you know, the old light skinned, pretty eyed kind of guy, right? So, and he's six four. Yeah, I'm six his two. Whole, he's like two his, inches taller than me. His whole family is paid. He he's yeah. rich in New York City. Has a house in the Hamptons, y'all. Okay, all real. No, all real. And. He used to play basketball too. Yep, in Japan. Yeah. We gonna fight El Guapo. You didn't send me oh. nothing. You didn't send uh, me. Are you gonna are you gonna, gonna, gonna reach out to him for I, real? No, I'm not gonna reach out. I just wanna verify that he is living and breathing. Because <laughs> this could be just anybody. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send it to you. Okay. Because he's a good looking guy. I'm very confused. He looks better than Michael Ely, in my opinion. Michael Ely. God do, do, do you want to ask my fiance? I'll have her. Him. I'm not going to put her on camera. I'll get her on the mic. She'll she'll verify he's real. I'm going to send you his Instagram. No, no. Send me the Instagram. She don't have to verify. I, I got to put, lay eyes on this because y'all. 
<laughs> Y'all ain't even, you're All not right. even trying to hook him up, Melody. What are you doing? Now, I, listen, listen, I've had, you know, I, I've had people reach out to me. I, I ain't going to give business, but I've had, I've had big name people reach out to me looking for me to help them with vetting women and all types of things. I'm thinking about doing it as some type of service. They want me to befriend and go out with a girl that they're really trying to and really, really start digging in on her and see where she's, see where she goes. So I've, I'm not, I'm used to, you know, certain type of people, but let's keep it going. Uh, what's his baby mama look like? She's uh, half Italian. I don't know what the other half is. Negro? Uh, no, she's the lighter shades. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just getting goofy, y'all. Okay. Is she, what's what's her body type? I haven't seen her in a while, to be honest what with you. What did she so, look like back in the day? She was cute. She was cute. Like, round the way girl cute. Like a, yeah. like a six, adjustable five, adjustable six? She, I'm she'd be a, a adjustable six if we're using Kevin Samuel's scale and there's no seven. She could be an eight when she wanted to be. Okay. Now his last girlfriend was a nine. Now what happened with them? She was a little bit too needy, man. I think that she felt like, you know, kind of like you're reacting, that he was too good to be true. She was a gorgeous girl. A man, gorgeous a woman girl. giving up a man because he's too good to be true. Unless she I'm has telling you. Illness. So I'm going to tell you, I think a lot of women that find something like that and they feel like they're, they're not worthy, they'll self-sabotage. That's what I think. So. Well, no, that's actually signs of type, some type of personality disorder. It could have been that. Mental illness. All right. I, you still have not sent me anything. I'm sorry, Mel. My bad. I'm trying to. You want me to do two things at once? Okay. Yes. I need to see this and I'm going to verify. But how are you going to get in contact with him if I can't share his information? And you know, I'm not going to call him real fast. Him. I want to make sure because he's going to be mad I did this. But hang on one second. I'm not going to share it with anybody. I know. I know. I know. I know. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. No, I'm gonna do I'm it. I have to go to the next person, El Guapo. Go ahead and go. I mean, I get it. You no, don't you have to believe me. <laughs> you won't be mad when you find out I was telling you the truth. How would a woman get in contact with him right now, though? I didn't think of all this before I jumped on here, okay? My bad. <laughs> Why can't he call up? Huh? Why can't he call up? He has no idea I'm doing this. We'll tell him and then see if he'll call up. I'm not, I won't be mean, I promise. I know you because won't. I'm Let me actually see if I thinking about doing an actual dating show where it's one guy and then I pick three women who want right. to kind of compete for him or something like that. I'm thinking about doing the like, or you you all ask him questions. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out something, but that'd like, be dope. Women. All right. If you can't get hey, him yo. on here, hang, hang on a second, Melanie. Yo, you sleep. He's sleep. So you're going to be mad, yo. Hang on one second. I'm going to put you on speakerphone. Hold on. Yeah. Don't say your real name. Don't say your real name. All right? Well, and you sound like a radio announcer, too, so it makes it sound so official, like one of those morning what are you shows. <laughs> Hello. Uh, is this is this uh, Keith? <laughs> yeah. So listen, bro. I called into... You know who Melanie King is, yeah? Yeah. And so she has a dating show, right? And I'll put you out there. Don't get mad at me, dog. Can I send her your Instagram? Sure. You, uh, I'm good for that? Yeah. All right. All right. You got it. Say hi to Melanie. Hi. <laughs> <Okay>. All right. <laughs> What's up, poor baby? He's telling he took his Ambien and you, you, he don't even know where he's at right now. All right, y'all holler at you, man. Peace. You got the voice of, you got the voice of God. You have the voice of a radio announcer and a God. He's like, hello? This is yeah. God calling. <laughs> we all have our superpowers, right? All right. Well, all right. I'm going to send it to you. I don't know how to hook him up. Other than I'm going to drop down. Unless you have any more questions, I'm going to send it to you right now. Okay. Send it to me. I am looking to do private clients. Like I said, I've had some guys reach out, so maybe he could qualify for a private client. Yeah, I know what you're trying to do. You ain't slick. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, it's jokes, Melanie. I'm just joking with you. Y'all, y'all gonna have to understand why everybody think, <sighs> y'all so silly. Yes, private clients. Now somebody can take that clip and right. run with Melanie now is offering services for private clients. We know what that is. Oh, I didn't about. mean it like that. Oh my God. <laughs> She's off.
<laughs> whoa, woo, woo, spooky. Some of y'all are dumb. But anyway, all, all right. right, El Guapo, this was fun. It's been fun. I'm going to send it to you, okay? All right. <laughs> all right. Peace, peace. All right. That was awesome. Thanks for having me on that day, Melanie. I'll see y'all tonight at 7.30 p.m. Might drop a part two of this video later today just to wet your beak a little bit more. El Wapo out.